Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, and in today's video, we're going to talk about getting great JPEGs in your Lumix G9 camera, okay? And a few sort of tips and tricks and a few concepts I use to get great JPEGs in camera every single time. So let's roll that intro and get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, JPEGs in your Lumix G9. Okay, I feel as though that Panasonic cameras are A, really overlooked for photography, and B, also very underrated for the quality of JPEGs they produce in camera. And it only takes a few little tips and tricks to really shoot uh, great JPEGs every single time, okay? I'm at the stage now where, you know, even on professional shoots, uh, you know, we're talking sort of like quick fire family mini sessions and stuff like that. I'm shooting fully JPEG and uploading them to the iPad, minimal tweaking in Lightroom Mobile, delivering to the client, have had no issues whatsoever. You know, it's taken me a long time to A, get the confidence to do that, and B, also a lot of experimenting in camera. You really have to experiment a lot. But these are a few things that I do to get great JPEGs. So let's get into it. Uh, the number one thing is, is that you want to lose the mentality of fixing it in post later. Okay, fixing it in Lightroom later, it'll be right. I'll just fix it in Lightroom later. The idea is, is you want to get a great exposure every single time in camera. And then that leads me to my next point. How do we do that? Well, if you're not already shooting in manual mode, I highly recommend you start, okay? Aperture priority is fine. Shutter priority is fine too. However, we're talking great JPEGs. You're going to have to control every single element of the camera to get a great exposure every single time in the scenario that you're shooting in, okay? And that all starts with uh, ISO, shutter, and aperture, okay? So on my G9, I'm not gonna get too deep into all that sort of stuff, but um, I've got my ISO mapped to my back rear dial here, okay? I've got my shutter mapped to the back dial here, and I've got my aperture mapped to the front dial, okay? So that's all well and good. However, take it one step further. You want to start playing around with your white balances, okay? So usually, uh, nine times out of ten, I am on daylight or I'm on cloudy day. I hardly ever have it on auto white balance. I feel as though that having um, either daylight or cloudy day gives me a lot more consistency in my photos, okay? You can also have a custom white balance and then you've also got your Kelvin temperature that you can rock depending on the shooting situation you're in. But for me, this is my preference, shooting on daylight or shooting on cloudy day, okay? Consistency is the key, okay? Learning how those two uh, white balances affect the temperature of your photos is key, okay? You might wanna leave it on auto white balance, that's fine, no worries whatsoever. Uh, but the most important thing is, is understanding white balance and how it dictates the look of your JPEG, your final JPEG. The other thing is, is metering modes, okay? For me, nine times out of 10, I'm on spot metering. My camera is always on spot metering mode. There's gonna be a lot of people in the comments saying I'm wrong, but for me, that's how I do things. That's what I like, okay? So let's get that out of the way. Let's get into the camera itself. Okay, so this is where it gets really fun and really, really creative. Now, before we get into the photo styles, what we're gonna do is in your quality, okay? You can have it on RAW and JPEG, so you still have the RAW files. However, for me, I'm gonna be on JPEG every single time, okay? If I'm shooting JPEGs, I'm just gonna have JPEGs in camera. If I'm on a real high paying gig and stuff like that, obviously 
I'm going to be shooting raw and that's what I'm going to be editing and stuff like that. But for quick fire family sessions, personal work and stuff like that, I'm on JPEG all the time. Okay, photo style. So this is where it gets really, really super creative, okay? And this is where, uh, you know, your style of shooting and what you like, and this is where you really experiment to get great JPEGs, okay? So we go into photo styles. For me, um, I like shooting on Cine Like V. I just like the way it looks. I like the punch. I like the vibe. I like everything about it. I go in there and then you start tweaking all your settings in there. So for me, I've got my contrast boosted to two. I've got my sharpness all the way down. I've got my noise reduction. Usually, I don't know why it's there. Usually I've got my noise reduction on zero. And then I've got my uh, saturation down to two, okay? Just to take the edge off a bit. That's my J, That's my go, go to JPEG setting, okay? So I've got that mapped to my C1 button on my Lumix G9 up here. I don't know if you can see my finger. That's my C1, okay? So that's my go to JPEG setting is Cine Like V. You can get in there, okay? And this is where it's all up to you, okay? You get in there and you start tweaking and finding a color profile, right? A photo style, color profile, whatever you want to call it, that you like, okay? So Cine Like V suits me. Standard, that's just stock standard. Standard, Vivid's got a lot of punch. Natural is what I film on. So on my G H5 Mark II that I'm filming on right now. Monochrome, L Monochrome, Monochrome D. Scenery, portrait, uh, custom. This is custom one, you can map it up and choose your settings. Custom two, map it up, choose your settings and stuff like that. Custom three, all that sort of stuff. And then we go back, Cine Like D, Cine Like V. There's my settings there, as you can see. Cine Like V is mapped to my C1 button. If I move to C2, this is my black and white setting here, okay? Ugh, auto ISO, yuck. Okay. So this is my monochrome black and white. So C2 is my black and white JPEG. So... On my G9, we go and do photo styles. We have a look here. My monochrome is pretty experimental, okay? I really like a real moody black and white photo, and this is how I've set my monochrome settings up. I've got my contrast all the way up. I've got my sharpness all the way up. Noise reduction all the way down. Uh, color tone, I don't touch. I've got a green filter on. I've got my grain effect uh, off and yeah, that's how I get my black and white shots in my Lumix G9. Am I right or am I wrong? Well, experts out there are going to say that oh, you shouldn't have this like this and you shouldn't have like that, like that. Well, to those people, I say photography is art and photography is to be explored, okay. So get into your camera and start exploring. Stop listening to the noise out there and listening to people telling you how to do things. It's all about experimentation, okay? It's art. So don't let anyone tell you you shouldn't have this like that and you shouldn't have this like that. Get in there and tweak it up. Have fun with your JPEGs. Shoot great JPEGs and, and share them straight away, okay? That's the whole point of this video. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, we're going to wrap it up now. Please like and subscribe. Uh, that helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.